Hi guys, this would be day four with my Mustang River. And right before this clip started, I tried to pick up his foot for the very first time and he was so willing. And of course this time he's like more curious and kind of trying to block me from doing it. He's gotten this habit now of blocking me with his face. And I'm not 100% sure how to stop it otherwise than other than just blocking him with my hand. But I was still super proud of like him trying to give me his foot that easily. But kind of in retrospect of thinking about it, um, I shouldn't have worked so hard on trying to pick up his feet. The first day I touched his leg, I should have just like started just rubbing on his leg. But, you know, you live and you learn. Um, tomorrow I'll just start by petting on his legs and then I'll start asking with an individual cue of asking for his foot. Because I don't want him just picking up his foot every time I touch his leg. Because um, that would obviously not be what you want. But... I didn't think about it at the time, and you know, you make mistakes, so there's mine. Good job. Good job. Good boy. So right here, I'm just messing with another halter. I'm not 100% ready to take off his halter yet. I want to like just play around with getting a halter on and off. I know I can put one on now after this training session, but I also don't want him to regress. And so I kind of just want to leave his halter on a little bit longer and then take it off because I don't want to take too many steps backwards. Um, if he was just another horse that didn't have a competition ahead of him, I probably would have just started without a halter completely. But since he is for a competition, I am just going to leave it on for a little bit longer and just keep taking advantage of it just being on him. Especially since he is my first Mustang. But before today, he hadn't let me touch his, touch his ears at all. And today we made a bunch of progress. So like me getting to touch his ears, touch his forelock, touch his pole, pull stuff over it. I was very happy with it. So... And, of course, like, this halter is way too big on him, but I just wanted it to be super easy to put on and off going over his ears. And right there, I'm just, like, making sure he's okay with me clipping that little lead, or not lead, that little snap, because I know it makes a noise. And he was, he didn't care. A big thing that I am really liking is he doesn't care at all about the dogs. I really expected him to kind of not like them being in the pen with him. And I guess maybe I'm just really used to the mules that I've been training for clients and my own that are very territorial with dogs. But he doesn't care at all about my dogs coming in and out. Um, and right here I'm just messing around. I think I've got a curry comb in my hand. Maybe I'm just using my hands. Um... And I'm just getting him all, yeah, I don't have a curry comb in my hands. And I'm just touching him all over.
I really loved how calm he was on that side with me currying him. He, like, literally looked like he didn't have a care in the world. Um, and another thing about this session, he wasn't obsessed with standing in the corner. He was actually, like, pretty happy and pretty content standing just, like, on the side right there. And I know, like, there's another, um, there's a mule standing right there. And maybe that gave him a little bit of comfort. But it still, like, made me feel really good that he wasn't, like, hiding in the corner from me. Um, he does get a little nervous right there and like shot away, but I continued on and then like I gave a release, um, right there. Um, I probably shouldn't have cause he just put his nose towards me. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of times he does block me. So maybe I shouldn't have gave a release right there. I'm not, I'm a hundred, I'm not a hundred percent sure because I don't want to like shush him his face away from me and make him less curious of me so I'm kind of like on the fence about that right now I feel like if he gets a little bit more nippy then I will really reprimand it because he has tried to nip me a few times and I've just kind of mildly corrected it but if he goes back to really trying to do it then I'll probably up my correction and try to keep him from blocking me at all and stuff like that Indigo, no ma'am. And right here is the first time I get to touch his butt. And he was just like, okay. He kind of looked at me, but he was just like, okay, you're good. And so I was really, really happy about that. Um, I was super happy about that. Willow out.
Yeah. Good boy. I know that sounds weird, doesn't it? Good boy. Good boy. Enzi right there, he kind of lipped me and I was like, nope, that is not happening. I wasn't like super aggressive, but I did like get after him a little tiny bit and was like, nope, that's not happening. You're not going to freaking bite me. So he, he straightened up and then he got his little reward. So yeah, I'm really happy about the haltering though. I thought it would be, I thought he wouldn't like it more than he did, but I guess I should have expected it because he did really good in the shoot getting his halter on too. And here's us just lunging. Honestly, I don't think my pen's big enough. I feel like I'm in his way and he's in my way in this small space. And I don't really honestly feel like it's safe trying to lunge him. But we're just, he's my first Mustang and I really didn't think too much about it. Um, I just needed a place to house him. So hopefully we'll get him out of the pen in the next week. Um, I, the plan is to get him out by Friday, uh, which will be his seven day mark of me having him. And then hopefully I can walk him down to my round pen and start actually lunging more there. And I was really proud of this. Um, I think this was the first time I actually asked him to walk all the way down the alley or all the way down his pen and all the way back. And he did awesome. I was so, 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 so proud. Usually he'll get up kind of almost beside me while I'm trying to lead him. And he kind of gets really nervous. But today he was just like, okay, I'll go with you. And I was like, yes, yes. He, he wasn't standing right at my shoulder where he needed to be. But, I mean, I was I was really proud. Um, he got about where he needed to be, near the end right there. And then he kind of did stall, but he took another step and got unsticky, and I was happy about that. This is my first time asking him to back up. He doesn't exactly know what I want. Um, and I just keep asking, keep asking, keep asking. And then I think I touch on his shoulder, and he finally moves. And, of course, obviously, he gets a big release. I sh so, yep, and there's this chewing. He's really good about showing me his emotions. Um, I can always tell when he's anxious and when he's chill and thinking about it. So now I'm going to ask again. And he does it with a little less pressure than the first time. But it's not as good. It, it's still not as good as, as I'd like. But it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good boy. 
Oh. Get off of it! You're not standing on a bull needle. Not me. Here, let's move the bull in. Something I really don't like that I'm doing, especially because I believe at the competition you have to ground tie when you pick up all four feet, is that I'm grabbing his halter and trying to hold him still while I do it, which I really don't think I should be doing. But also, like, I feel like I should have my hand up somewhere trying to block him since he is he has been kind of nippy when I go for him. So I just need to focus on having my hand ready to block instead of holding his halter. So that's something I realized that I am doing while watching this and I need to not do. <laughs> Get out of my space. Let's go do that again. Yeah. Good. That was better. That was a lot better. Yes. That was better. Yes, that was better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, so this is me just practicing taking the lead rope on and off on both sides. And then after that, I decide to go in for a little snuggle with him. And you'll see in just a second. And he, he was all for it. He was like down for the snuggle. I love how like willing he is. He's just like, okay. Um, I love it. And then I unhook him again, and I try just to snuggle his face, and I get a little too much, and he's just like, nope. But anyways, that's it for day four. Thanks for watching.